is up you guys it is jessica doing things differently and today i have for you another Tamu haul one of those late night purchases when you get it and you really don't even know what you got one of them yeah i did that i'm really excited about this haul i've had it for a while now and i keep on you know kind of like setting it aside i'm like oh i'll get to it and then i keep on forgetting you know so i figured why not get into it today you guys remind me of sir so i will be going to florida here soon um, and I was really, really trying to push out a few videos before I went, but it's just been very, very hectic. Um, so I do want to apologize for not uploading as regularly as I should be. Let's go ahead and do the shout out of the week. And today's shout out goes to Jane. Um, I saw that you are a new subscriber. This was on a few videos ago, but I did want to let you know that I saw you. Um, and I thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for commenting. And I hope that you continue to enjoy this channel. Yeah. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Let's go. All right. So here is the first one. This is just a one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve packs of sponges. I'm not too too particular when it comes to the sponges that I get for the kitchen or bathroom. Really, as long as they work, that's really all I care about. You know what I mean? Um, and these seem like you know decent sponges. They are the ones that are like car sponges that you wash the car with right here and then we have the scratchy pad right here and really that's all that matters again they're sponges you know what I mean you're using them to wash things with you know but I will say I am particular when it comes to throwing them out and how quickly or how soon I do get rid of them um I don't want them to sit around until they're falling apart or I throw them out when they start to look gross but now I have 12 of them and I thought it was a really good deal really you can't go wrong with that all right, moving on, we have this right here, and these are hair curlers. You can sleep with them in, apparently, um, and I believe that there are, oh, there's only six in this one. So, basically, you take your hair, you roll it up like so, and then you take this little piece here. You know what? I didn't realize that they had this little band on there. And this little band right here always gets caught in my hair. Which is kind of why I didn't like the old ones. Like the, the ones from back in the day. But, alright, let me try to show you. So basically, you take it. You roll it. And then you take this piece right here. You pull it up and you put it in between these little two pieces right there and it holds your hair and then you sleep in it right well as you can see when I put it out when I tried to take it out of my hair and recurled it up it got stuck in and it's doing it again so it's getting stuck in that little piece right there so I will oh okay so maybe I can take this little piece off and try it without it let's do that because that little piece tore my hair up and I was about to say, mm, no, no, thank you. That was a dud. Okay, so let's try it again without that little piece on. We got, choop, 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 boop. Pull it up and over. Like so. Man, that really tore my hair up. Yeah, so that works. Okay, take it out. And bam, no tangle. So it's this little guy right here that really tears my hair up. So because it's removable, I do like that about it. If it weren't removable, I was about to say, um, no thank you. These are not going to be for me. <laughs> There's six of them. That's not enough to do my hair, but I think I wanted to try them out before I got them. Um, because I wanted to see if they worked first. But these are okay. Hopefully they'll work okay. We'll give them a shot sleeping in them and see how comfortable they are. Again, that might be a separate video of its own. All right, next we have this little guy. This is a little cat for my son because he loves little stuffed animals and little stuffies. So, oh, I didn't know it was a keychain. Hmm, huh. okay. So, here it is, little face. Oh, look how cute he is. Uh, but it, again, it is like a little keychain. Didn't know that. Don't know if I like that or don't like that, but it can always go on his book bag, so it's not a huge deal. 
um, but look how cute he is. They did have different faces to choose from, but I like that one. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be too. So next we have this one. This is something that I already got a long time ago and I absolutely love it. I think it's a great tool. There's a bunch of different things that you could do with it, but I got black this time because the first one I got brown. But if you guys remember, you just take it and put it around your hair. It's hard not being able to see, but it does work really good. So you put it around your hair like this. And then you just close it down and it goes around your ponytail like that. And it actually does hold your hair really well. So I do like that. And it makes my hair feel like it's even more secure now than it was before. Next we have this. And the reason I got this little guy is because I want to start making my own little fancy coffee using like a little bit of foam on my coffee. Um, I don't like the real frilly drinks unless I go get them from like uh, Starbucks or Big B or um, Dunkin. I do like the little froth on top when I make my coffee at home. So I did get, so it says it's a cappuccino maker. Um, did I get purple? I don't think I got purple. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. But um, here is what it is. I thought I got black, but that's okay. So it's a little mixer. You just put batteries in it down here, and then you just slide up the button, and then it goes. Zzz, zzz. You guys all know what this is. You've all seen it. I'll let you guys know how it works right now. Moving on, we have this guy here. It's just another cat, it's a different type of design. I did get a big one like this um, and he really liked it. So I got a little miniature one and it has like a little tail. So it's kind of cute. It's, you know, nothing, nothing special, but um, I just thought it was cute. And if you like cats or your kids like cats, these are little cuties, little cute kitties. Next, next, we have this guy here, and this is for my little voodoo, but because, like I said, I'm going to Florida, voodoo's not here right now, uh, I have somebody cat sitting him, but this is going to hopefully fit him, because I don't know, it's a little bit big, but um, it's going to go around his little neck, and it's going to be, mm, it's going to be so cute, oh, I can't handle it, but it'll be, here, let me show you, so here is voodoo. It's gonna go around his little neck like that, and it's gonna be like a little handkerchief. <laughs> so cute. All right, next we have this, and this is for when I'm painting my nails. And I wanna set my nail polish down, but for some reason, and let me know if anybody else does this too. I'll be painting my nails sitting on the carpet on my ground, maybe in the living room or my bedroom or whatever, and I have nowhere to set my nail polish. So like I'm painting my toenails or whatever. Usually that's why I'm on the ground. I'll go to set the nail polish down. It's like maybe wipe a part off that I missed or messed up or whatever. And I won't have anywhere to set it. So this goes right here on the floor. And then you put your little nail polish on the inside. Let me grab a nail polish and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm sitting on the ground. I'm painting. Wait a minute. This is tiny. Okay, let me try a different one. Okay, there, that one fits. So that's good, very happy with that. Um, I do wish that it held a bit bigger of containers because this really, I mean, it's an average size, size bottle, but it happens when you get into like little fancier sizes like this, like this is probably not gonna fit. I mean, I could probably like force it to fit, but I'm going to be afraid that it won't, you know, it's not going to be steady. And then this one, I already showed you guys, doesn't fit. Again, I can force it to fit, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I guess it does fit, but I would just be afraid that it would like pop out, you know? Maybe I just had to be a little bit more forceful with it, but it's pretty cool. And then you can just set it on the ground or table or wherever you're doing your nails at, and it really does work pretty well. All right, moving on, we have this little guy here. I don't know what this is. I can't remember. Oh, it's a paper cutter. It's just something, little regular paper cutter that I got because... I don't know about you guys, but I can't cut a straight line to save my life. No matter if I draw the line or not, it never seems to be straight. So I bought a paper cutter. All right, next we have this guy right here. It is a freckle pen. So you can make like little freckles on your face. I've wanted this for a while, but I was afraid to get it because I don't know what color to get. You know what I mean? Like there's all kinds of different colors. What color is my color? So I got the color. Oh, I got the color two, which obviously I'll put up, up pictures up here showing you what color number two is. Okay, so here is a little fine tip right here, and you just go boop, 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 boop. Um, I am happy that you can kind of like rub them away if you mess up a little bit. I already have like natural freckles, but when I put makeup on, a lot of times it kind of like gets rubbed away. So while I think that these will be like this little freckle pencil will be okay, I'm probably going to have to like get used to how to use it because I don't really know how. I've never used one before and I think that I just kind of have to get the feel for it. The color is actually on point. It's a really good color. It is the number two color and I will put that up on the screen what that is. But yeah, I really like it. All right, moving on. We have this guy right here. And this is like a green eyeliner pencil. So here it is. And it's like a metallic green. And I think that's really cute. But let me show you. So I don't know. I really like it. I think it's cute. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker, but that's okay. Um, next, we have this guy here. This is for my q-tips so um right now i just have them in like an old container but i wanted something a little bit nicer to put them in because i also might be moving so i wanted you know to make sure the bathroom looked real cute but you put the q-tips in here and then they come out in this little uh dip right here and you just can pull them out one by one but i just thought that was really cute and you know classy you know you know we have this guy and this is um some type of jewelry okay well I don't know what this is or even if I was supposed to get it but I'm gonna have to look back on my order it's just a plain necklace with nothing on it so it's just like a chain alone and that I may have ordered it I just don't remember it but it was only just like in this bag all by itself and then we have these little guys which I use for when I do my nails, like acrylic nails, um, or even like the dip nails. I got these little guys right here, which are like little sanders to uh, sand down my nails. And I got a whole pack of them because I needed them, you know. And lastly, I got these earring bags because when my daughter was really young, she like pulled on my earring and made my ear kind of like... Um, as you can see, like stretch out a little bit in a way. So I need to wear bigger backs when I wear heavier earrings because it pulls down. And then we have two clothing items. One, we have this shirt, which hopefully is nice because I really liked it in the picture. Guaranteed this is going to be see-through, which kind of sucks because it's a white shirt and you don't ever want white to be see-through. But I might get away with wearing pasties. Um, it just sucks because when it's this thin, uh, you can even see the pasties, but here is the shirt and it just kind of, you know, ties up in the middle here and then we've got some long sleeves. I think they made the shirt wrong. I'm going to try it on and we'll see what it looks like. But So if you look right there on my arm, you can see my tattoo coming through the shirt. 
and it also appears like it's inside out but actually that is the way that it was made uh it just kind of looked funny in the beginning i do like the shirt however i'm definitely gonna have to wear something underneath it so that you can't see through it as well as you can right now but uh I actually do like it. I think it looks pretty cute. Um, it does honestly look a little bit cheap when you can like look at it close up, but when you're standing from a distance, you can't really tell. Next, we have a bathing suit. I said, you know what? Let's try a bathing suit because if they're good, we'll get some more, you know? All right, so here are the bottoms, just like a basic um a basic bottom with ties on the side you know basic bikini bottom and then the top are sunflowers but they have this like frilly little detail on the bottom of the cup which i thought was kind of cute go ahead and try her on and that will do it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure if you're not already make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell for notifications for every time i upload another video so you don't miss out you know what I'm saying? all right you guys until next time i'll see you later